In a previous lecture, we learned about two important diagnostic tools, which are history and physical exam. History of our imaginary patient is uh, suggestive of pneumonia, and physical exam reveals ronchi and rays. Percussion returns a third, third sound. Now it is time for us to use third diagnostic tool, which is imaging. So we'll get a chest X-ray done, and depending uh, depending upon the findings of uh, the chest X-ray, we may have to use CT scan or ultrasound may be used sometimes uh, so first picture shows consolidation in right superior lobe and you can also see air bronchogram so these black lines are uh, bron bronchial branches uh, and have got air in them and they are visible because of consolidation in the background so the background is opaque and uh, bronchial branches have uh, air in them and that's why these uh, are visible air bronchogram often indicates uh, infection this patient does not have any pleural effusion the trachea is not shifted to right or left there is no indication to suggest uh, uh, mass uh, in mediastinum uh, there is no sign to suggest that uh, uh, lymph nodes are enlarged uh, so this is the only finding here this uh, x-ray shows a huge amount of pleural effusion. You cannot see left uh, uh, hard border. You cannot see left cardiac diaphragmatic angle. You cannot see left hemidiaphragm. Left uh, claustrophenic angle is not visible. More than half of the left lung is not visible. There is a gap between rib cage and uh, pleura here. And this is um, a, a big pleural effusion. Now, uh, pleural effusion can uh, occur in a number of diseases. Okay, so pleural effusion does not uh, indicate the patient has got uh, pneumonia. So we'll have to do further studies for this. Maybe CT scan. We'll have to do blood test and all other things, history, to find out what is actually causing pleural effusion in this patient. Uh, the third. Uh, uh, the, the fourth tool is uh, laboratory test. CBC, uh, complete blood count, a very famous uh, blood test, provides valuable information about RBCs, means red blood cells, hematocrit and WBCs, uh, means uh, white blood cells. The normal number of white blood cells for both men and women is approximately 4,000 to 10,000 WBCs per microliter of blood. It is often raised in case of infections, any infection including pneumonia, but also often infections are caused by low uh, WBC count frequently. So blood test may be inconclusive or may give you important information as to why this infection is happening. Sputum uh, presence of blood is uh, suggestive of infection. Color, if the sputum is opaque and colored yellow green, then yellow or green, then infection is likely. Clear white shining sputum indicates no infection. Uh, lecture is prepare, prepared for www.academyofprofessions.com, and the references are written here. Thank you to Dr. Chandra Shekhar for allowing us to use uh, chest x-ray from this website. Thank you.